who is A-list to Crowley, the devil and the wickedest man in the world. A-list to Crowley was born on this day, on October 12, 1875 in Leamington Spa, England, with his son in Libra, Moon in Pisces and Leo Ascendant. Crowley took it as his life's work to return an understanding of magic to a society that had buried it. Like many others of his generation, he helped kick down the locked doors of repression, both sexual and spiritual, and sought to put the study of the other worlds on a firm scientific basis. Alistair Crowley was one of the first Westerners to openly talk about and advocate yoga, meditation, ritual, shamanism, the chakras, understanding of past lives, sexual and chemical experimentation, Kabbalah, Buddhism, Hinduism and even Tantra as valid tools for self-exploration. For Crowley, also an early advocate for gay rights, all of these could be used as structures to achieve one thing, the discovery and execution of one's true life purpose. Unlike the Theosophists who came before him and the New Agers who came after him, he ruthlessly sought to cut out any fluffy, wishful and deluded thinking and instead posited magic as the study of the true nature of the world, which, being natural, is neither black nor white but, rather, red in tooth and claw. Introduction to the Occult According to the Skeptics Dictionary, while he was at Trinity College he began to study the occult. He soon discovered that he enjoyed reading descriptions of bloodshed and abuse, and fantasized about being tortured by a woman. Crowley, although bisexual, had a homosexual phase, and had by this time developed a fairly strong contempt for women, which made this fantasy even odder. Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, The Biography Project a list of Crowley reports that around this time, Crowley discovered a book about black magic by a man who was called Arthur Edward Waite. This book talked about a secret brotherhood which Crowley became determined to join. After writing to Waite, he was eventually successful at finding and being inducted into the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn at the relatively young age of 23. Crowley joined a coven of witches, but was later cast out because of his contempt for women and his disregard for rules and rituals. He dropped out of Trinity College, changed his name to Count Vladimir, and gave himself totally to studying the occult. Association with S.L. McGregor Mathers, Crowley's goal was power, and he intended to achieve it through the Golden Dawn. He advanced quickly but his lodge leader, perhaps sensing Crowley's chaotic personality, refused to initiate him into the Second Order. He enlisted the aid of the head of the Order, S.L. McGregor Mathers, who was having trouble with the lower lodges anyway. Seeing a potential ally in Crowley, Mathers quickly initiated him into the coveted Order. Mathers and Crowley were swiftly at each other's throats engaging in a war of spiritual and supernatural aggression with each claiming to have cast spells on and sending paranormal beings after the other. In 1900, after Mathers tried to regain power over the lower lodges, both he and Crowley were thrown out of the order. After traveling extensively in the near and far east, Crowley returned to Britain in 1903 and married Rose Kelly. They had one child, Lola, who died while Crowley was traveling in the United States. Crowley divorced Rose in 1909. The Law of Thelema, by 1913, Crowley was well known for practicing black magic and for being a devout Satanist, he identified himself with the number 666. He lived by the Law of Thelema, the will, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law, love under will, which he said was among the truths revealed to him by the Egyptian god Horus. He had begun to experiment with magic under the influence of alcohol and drugs, he had become addicted to heroin during his travels, and kept a series of women as his magical consorts, engaging in sexual rituals with them. One of these women was Leah Hertzig, 
whom he called the Scarlet Woman, and with whom he had another daughter, Pupe, who also died in childhood. Abbey of Thelema, Crowley became involved in another occult order, the Ordo Templorientis, and in 1929 became the head of the order. In Sicily, he built the Abbey of Thelema at Safar, where he continued to be notorious for performing satanic rituals. The press called him the wickedest man in the world. He was expelled from Sicily in 1923 by Benito Mussolini. After more travel, he met and married his second wife, Maria Ferrari de Mirima. In 1934 he sued sculptress Nina Humnit for libel over her published allegation that he practiced black magic. However, his reputation was too far gone, and when the justice trying the case heard the defense's evidence about the bizarre rituals Crowley performed, much of it from Crowley's own writings, he promptly ruled in Hamnet's favor. Crowley was forced into bankruptcy, from which he never recovered. Death and legacy of Alistair Crowley On December 1, 1947, Crowley died. His was specified that his funeral service was to be based on his writings, and that he was to be cremated and his ashes distributed among his American followers. Several of Crowley's biographers aver that his writings and motives have been misunderstood. Certainly he was a man of strong intellect, one might even say genius. Certainly he influenced the practice of magic although whether for good or bad depends on the individual's perception. However his sadistic bent, lack of discipline, and determination to possess power at all costs resulted in his dying a broken and lonely man, linked forever with the disturbing and bizarre aspects of his lifestyle. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.